Hey, what's up guys, so Geno's Best here. This is my review of the Razer Deathstalker Ultimate Elite Gaming Keyboard. This is a very long name for a keyboard, but this is supposed to be the keyboard to kill all other keyboards out there. It has a lot of cool features to it, including a touch screen and some other things I'm about to cover in this review. But first, I'm gonna talk about the design and the hardware. Now, when this keyboard isn't plugged in, it's basically an all-black design with a very slim profile. Now, on the front there, on the bottom, you'll find this rubber wrist rest, it feels like. Now, I'm not a total huge fan of this because it does attract dirt very easily, lint, and things like that that are floating around get stuck to this thing, and it's not very easy to clean at all. Now, one thing I do like is the braided fiber cable that's used to connect this thing to your computer. And as you can see, it will be taking up two USB ports on your computer. Now, the good thing is that it's not going to require you to plug this thing into a, an outlet in your wall, but you do need to make sure you have enough room as far as the USB ports. Now on the bottom, you'll find a couple kickstands to give it a little bit of height on your desk if that's the way you like to have it. And also, too, it has chiclet style key caps, which feel good. They don't feel the best, but they feel okay. And it took me a little while to get used to them, but they do have a decent feel to them. Another good thing about these keys is that they are tricolor backlit keys, meaning you can basically create almost every single color of the rainbow. Um, you can adjust all the different colors in the software settings, and uh, it's really good just for if you're going to be gaming at nighttime, you'll be able to see the keys, but also you can adjust it to any color that you want to kind of match your desktop. At the top of the keyboard, you do have a couple dedicated keys. The first one is going to be a macro key. So say you have a command in the game that requires you to press four or five different keys at once or in a particular order. Uh, you can basically uh, set up a macro which will allow you to record and, and capture all those different keys for that one command and then assign it to just one single key press to any key on the keyboard itself. And this keyboard also comes with five dedicated macro keys on the left hand side. The other dedicated button is for the gaming mode, which features anti-ghosting for up to 10 keys pressed at once. So if you, again, if you have a lot of combination of keys you need to press, as this keyboard in that gaming mode is going to be a lot more accurate to make sure it recognizes all those key presses. Plus, you can adjust in the settings for when you press this button, it can disable certain keys on the keyboard. So you know when you're probably playing a multiplayer match in Call of Duty, you don't want to accidentally press the Windows button and really just mess up your game. You can have when you press a gaming mode, it'll disable that key and any other key that you want. But then the big feature of this keyboard that makes it stand out against all other gaming keyboards is that on the right hand side you have a big four inch touch screen that is running the Razer Synapse 2.0 software. And this is going to allow you to use this touch screen as a, a trackpad if you wanted to, but plus you can also run a good amount of different widgets. And also the software that comes with this keyboard allows you to change the background of the trackpad itself so you can add any custom image that you want to it to kind of personalize it to your liking which is a nice added feature. And on top of the trackpad, you'll find 10 tactile keys, which will also change with the screen or whatever widget that's running on the touch screen down below. And you can press those to do different things in the rack, and those have a very nice response and feel to them as well. And some of those widgets include a number pad widget, a time widget, even a Gmail widget. So you can log into your Gmail account and check your email while you're playing some games. And also, it does have a Twitter and Facebook widget as well, but I'm not really a big fan of these two widgets because they're not really designed for a touch screen, let alone a screen of this size. Um, so I think they could have spent a little bit more time to design those widgets because those are probably going to be the most popular ones out there um, but one widget i am a big fan of is the youtube widget it seems to be very well done um, it allows you to watch basically any video on youtube you can log in to see videos from your subscriptions if you wanted to and it does perform very well the video does flow flow good the frame rate is not all that high but it flows well enough and developers have also made dedicated gaming track pass for certain games out there, including Battlefield 3, Counter-Strike, and Team Fortress. So this will allow you to use that touch screen to access different menus or change your weapons or change your different power-ups right there using that 4-inch screen instead of having to access that menu in the game itself, which this can be useful and handy in certain situations. And so in my, my, my culmination, in my, my final conclusion on this keyboard, I would say this is one of the best gaming keyboards out in the market. Having that 4-inch trackpad is very handy, not just when you're gaming, but also too when you're just doing normal things on a normal basis like checking your your email or writing a paper or something like that it's pretty cool to be able to have this little screen there on the side to be able to have a widget up running your your twitter or running your facebook account or running your youtube to be able to use that plus to be able to change it over to a number pad is very useful as well and overall the screen does have good quality but a couple things that could be improved with this keyboard is just the keys that can feel a little bit better plus i'm not really a big fan of this rubber wrist rest there at the bottom it just really gets dirty and has a kind of a weird feel to it that you may get used to you may not uh, but overall i really do like this keyboard and that track pad is a really big seller for me now this keyboard does cost 249 dollars so it definitely is in the upper echelon as far as price point with gaming keyboards out there and the really again the big selling point is that trackpad you don't feel like you're gonna be using that trackpad that much um, and though the software and the widgets then you can probably go for something else that's gonna be cheaper something another keyboard from Razer or something from Logitech but if you have been waiting for a keyboard that has a built-in multi-touch touch screen this is going to be the keyboard for you out there it does perform very well so anyway guys this bot brings it into my video for this Razer Death 
Stalker Ultimate Elite Gaming Keyboard. I think I said everything in order. But what I want you to do is leave a comment down below what you think about this keyboard so far and what you saw from this review. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.